All right, the team at Linux Mint have released the latest uh, Debian edition for 2014. There are two editions. Uh, they are uh, Linux Mint Mate or Mate and uh, Cinnamon. Now, these are rolling releases, of course. The question is, are they as good as the LTS releases? Meaning, is it stable or horse stable? Let's find out. All right, I installed this in my um, one of my old machines, a ThinkPad laptop. I'm guessing it's about 10 years old. This is a real world test. Uh, no virtual machine, no booting off the live CD, no UNet boot in. This is an actual install in an outdated laptop. Uh, this requires at least 512 megabytes of RAM. Uh, my machine barely made it. That's how outdated it is. I've been running this for about three days. As far as a rolling release goes so far, I'm impressed, very stable. Uh, it's not particularly zippy, that is not the fault of the operating system, and I'll show you the specs here in a moment. But I've always liked the Mint menu as you see here. I think I like this a little better than Cinnamon, strictly my choice. Uh, this, is, this, this probably is a favorite for a lot of people. All right, my machine. 754, I've got megabytes of RAM, that's megabytes and not gigabytes. A Pentium M processor, ooh, and a total uh, 30 gigabytes of total space. Now you guys are probably thinking, Toss, a frozen iceberg runs faster than this. Uh, yeah, probably does, but as I stated, this is a real world test. I'll probably do maybe one or two more videos of Linux Mint Debian uh, to give you a long term review of this in an actual install. But I liked what I saw so far, so definitely check it out. All right, I will have links below in the show notes. Make sure you check out the release notes for Linux Mint Debian and exactly what is a rolling release, or in their case, I believe they call it a semi-rolling release. They have their own repositories versus the, the Debian repositories. Hence, Linux Mint Debian might be a little bit more stable on this OS. Not exactly an automatic installer, but not difficult either. So for beginners, make sure you read the documentation, but not that difficult to install. And if you want something uh, as a possible replacement to your aging XP machine, something that you won't have to reinstall every six months or a year, like I said, I'll have a follow-up video or two uh, to this operating system and let you know how it works out. All right, thank you so much for watching and listening. Don't forget to vote. Would you buy an Ubuntu phone? The Ubuntu phones are coming out later this year. I will have all the links below in the show notes. Thanks for watching, and as always, I will catch all of you sometime in the future.